Yeah, right. Angelo Pace, PAIS. Welcome, Angelo. Uh, I just got an introduction nice to, to you meet. from Avertino, my old schoolmate, college mate. Oh. Uh -huh. Tell us about your story and seeds. Uh, at this, uh, towards the later part of my life, I got interested in gardening. At what age? Mm, say about uh, close to 60. Wow. Yeah, close to 60. And I started... With What's gardening. your background? Sorry for interrupting. My background, I... My background, basically, I was in business, right. running restaurants on contract. I see. I see. Yeah. I see. And then at one stage, I said, enough is enough. Let's stop. Okay. And relax and enjoy okay. life. Okay. So that's how it was. And then uh, I got interested, uh, since I have a house and I have some yeah. some little land, you know, in a city, yeah. you don't have much land, but the yeah. little land I had. This is uh, Karanjala, sorry? Tonka. Tonka. Yeah, Tonka Penjai. Near, close to Miramar. Right? Yeah. And then I start, and I I did have a garden plants and all. And one day I was sitting, I have a nice sit out. I see. We like having our breakfast and all. I see. One day I said, I'm sitting here and looking at all those decorative plants. Yeah. I said, why not the lawn and all? Why not get rid of all that and start growing vegetables Amazing. organically? This was which year? Uh, this was about six years back. Six years back. Yeah, six seven years back. I said, why not uh, start growing some vegetables organically and look at the bendies and all growing yeah. and enjoy the view of that instead yeah. of uh, decorative plants. Right. So I knocked off the lawn, kept some of the decorative plants, ornamental plants, and uh, started growing vegetables. And it was great, really. My first Goa, Goa number one bendo is the seven-sided or seven-reached yeah. bended uh, number, name given by uh, ICAR in old Goa. What's the name given? Uh, Goa number one bendo. Really? Yeah, that's the name. What we call Sachi Raje. Sachi Raje, yeah. But Seven they have given that name Goa number one bendo. And I that saw yours? Huh? You created it? No, no, no. Okay. That's okay. been there for ages, yeah, but yeah, before yeah. I was born. Yeah. And uh, I planted those and I saw them growing to the height of uh, about two meters. Really? Even more than two meters. I had to literally wow. bend them down and all. And I said, why not? It is growing so well here. Then I don't have much place and more than half of my land does not get sunlight for half the year okay. as the okay. sun moves. Okay. No? Okay. So, okay, then I started and slowly I moved to the terrace. First day, I got a terrace on, uh, along the first floor. So, I moved on that and I said that also was not enough. I, I went see. to the second terrace. Really? <laughs> and I was just doing it for pleasure. Yeah. For pleasure and of course for eating yeah. good organic vegetables. Yeah. Oh, growing uh, green Was jaws. it viable? The the cost and the trouble involved? Uh, see, it is not really much viable. Okay. You know, so then I said, why not when I'm spending so much, why not try to recover something okay. or the other? Day? So then I started keeping some of these uh, fruits for seeds. I see. And started selling the seeds. I that's see. how Avertino that's how Avertino introduced me to you or okay. you to me. And it's been going on since that time, like amazing. What what, what do you get best results over? What's that? What do you get best results over? What uh, fruits? What uh, vegetables yeah, are vegetables. you are saying? Like one is uh, sponge gourd. Sponge gourd is not common in Goa. Really? But it grows very well. What's it called in Kokum? Uh, I don't know the Konkani word see. whether there is. It's between ridge gourd yeah. and snake gourd. I see. Between the two. It doesn't have the ridges. Yeah. It has basically the shape of a ridge gourd. Okay. Smooth like a sponge, like a snake gourd. Yeah. That way. Mm -hmm. And it grows very well. Obviously. Really? Very, very well. I, I got the seeds from Bombay one day when I went for an exhibition and uh, planted them and they are growing very well. What and else I, you recommend growing? Uh, bindis grow very well, brinjols, tomatoes, many other things, even the Thai brinjol, very very small ones. I no? see. Thai brinjol grows very well. I see. In fact, most of the things grow well, really? even strawberries grow well. Really? Oh yeah. Last year I had strawberries till the month of April. This year Amazing. I don't have because some renovation work was going on and they messed up all my <laughs> strawberries. So what's your background? You grew up here, you studied where? I was always in Goa. Yeah. Except for three years I was studying in Papal Seminary, Pune. I see. Yeah. You were on the way to priesthood? Yeah, yeah. In fact, our Archbishop was my classmate. Yeah, yeah. I see. Very it's interesting. So fun. people who have that background always tend to be a little bit more experimental than... Maybe, maybe. Dice season? Yeah, dice. No, dice season, yes. I see. Very interesting. So, so uh, you think this is a way to go? More people could be doing it? Yes. In fact, uh, I have not had the time. My yeah. One very strong intention of mine was yeah. to do some vertical gardening. 
in, see, you can do buy it, buy on Amazon and all, but the money that you pay, yeah, is it worth? Yeah, you know. So I was thinking of some simple way, very simple way, cost effective, low cost, uh, uh, vertical garden, okay, which people can have even in their balconies, urban, people urban living settings. in flats. Yeah. In fact, you can do it if you want. That, like I got a friend. He's taken cuttings and seeds from me and some little guidance and he's doing a wonderful, his wife especially, does a wonderful job in the flat, wow. growing all sorts wow. of things. So, uh, you get, you feel that people like you get support from the state, government, agriculture? State government does nothing. What could they do? What should they do? See, they don't even supply us seeds properly. I see. Like one day in Mapsa. Yeah. I asked one day in Mapsa, yeah, I came to know that the government this thing was selling seeds. Yeah. Very low. Z A O Z A O. Zonal ah, yes, Exactly. Yeah. So I phoned a friend in I phoned a friend in Mapsa yeah. uh, to buy me some. He bought and brought and gave me. Yeah. When he gave me the seeds, yeah. I saw the yeah. address on the seeds is the office close to my house. But I go to that office and they say, no, we are not selling. What support is this? So you offer for sale also? You offer for sale? People can approach you? I do, I do. Then I started, that's what I'm saying. Then slowly I started. Home, home level or? It's home level, home level. Not so I said, why not uh, make some pots? I mean, make some uh, seedlings, this thing, that thing. And I do it. There's I never what some contact for you. Phone number, contact phone yes, number. Yes, yes. Can you mention it? My number? Yeah. yeah. 98 yeah. 228 Two double four. Four eight two double four. Yeah, I'm just used to saying it. Yeah, in yeah, fine. Two yeah. three digits. Two three two three. Yeah. I'll say it again. Yeah. Nine eight double two one four eight two double four. Two double four. Thanks. Thanks so much. All the very best. Well, I wish there were more Agnellos around the place. We Angelo, could. Angelos. Angelos. Yeah. We uh, Pad Agnell. Pad Agnell is Agnell. Agnell. Angelo. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the uh, anglicized version. Uh, no, 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 no. Angelo comes from a different, no? Oh, I see. Route. Angelo comes from Angel. I see. But Angel, Angel O is Angel with a zero. That's a devil. <laughs> Thank you. And Agnello comes from a different root. I see. Lamb. I see. Yeah. You studied your Latin. Latin that's how. Sure. That's how. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice, nice, very.